The country has been gripped by panic, following back-to-back -back shootings in the last two weeks. First, it was retired Colonel Charles Angola, gunned down by his bodyguard, who then turned the gun on himself. A few days later, outspoken vlogger Ibrahim Tusuvira, a.k.a. Isma Olaxis, was shot by yet unknown assailants right outside his gate. Next, an Indian money lender was shot at close range by a police officer who allegedly owed him money. These bodies were hardly called when another security guard turned his gun on a colleague in Tororo. All these murders by the bullet, most of them by men in uniform. How safe are Ugandans when those supposed to protect them are now doing the killing? Is government losing its grip on the use of firearms by security personnel? Does this eruption of gun violence point to deeper issues boiling beneath the surface? Now government has to hire psychologists to make sure that they solve it. Because if we don't, who is going to be safe? Meanwhile, it's budget time again, and all legislators debate the proposed budget estimates. Questions of our budget priorities return. That the consolidated fund should not be used to act as a lender of first resort to every non-bankable idea. At a time when the economy is struggling, potholes are multiplying and widening by the day. Medical officers are striking over pay and critical infrastructure caving in countrywide. Does the proposed budget reflect a focus on the issues that matter? This is the